Hey guys, it's uh, Nick Carter at Nick Carter Photography and welcome to LearnMyShot.com. Today this video is going to be about uh, backlighting, whether it's uh, ambient light, uh, existing light from, uh, from a window source, whether it's a sunset or whether it's a uh, light coming from a flash. Um, I'm just going to talk a little bit about uh, how I use this particular light in, uh, in, a, in a wedding application. I get uh, emails all the time from guys, from photographers, uh, asking you know how how I achieved a certain shot. I'm going to go through those things and just say and show you how I did it. So um, let's go to the uh, camera. Let's go to the uh, computer and uh, see what we got here. Uh, before the bride puts her, her dress on, I just want to get like really cool artistic shots of the dress itself before she puts it on. Um, so I like to what I did in this particular case is to use. Um, the uh, window light and it just illuminated the dress itself and what it did was to capture the uh, the details of the dress uh, it's just a be very beautiful dress so I just wanted to capture it in more of a uh, an artistic uh, look as opposed to just putting the, the uh, dress on the back of a uh, door or just to place it on the bed so uh, I think this looks a whole lot better and in the second photograph uh, it's the same dress just at a slightly different angle and in color and uh, it's always cool to do that as well. If you just shoot it to head on and shoot it like from the left and shoot it from the side and tilt your camera as well. And that kind of gives it a really cool uh, look and just a different look and, a, and an artistic look. Okay. And in the third image, it's the same thing except I just shot this one uh, in color at a slightly different angle as well. Uh, and that's in color. And always make sure to uh, differentiate, differentiate your shots into shooting some vertical and to shoot some horizontal. It's a completely different photograph of the same actual, the same subject. And in the next photograph, um, the bride is actually in her dress, obviously, and I placed her looking outside of the window. Um, and I took her, uh, she had a very long uh, veil, as you can see, and I just uh, very strategically just laid it out so it was very symmetrical. And um, I used the uh, light coming in from the sun to uh, illuminate the, uh, to create a back a backlight for the subject. And it, I think, in my opinion, I think it's very, uh, a very artistic and something cool to bright actually brides love these shots so it's it's really nice to be able to get those um you're probably asking at this point how'd you get that shot what are the settings well in all of the shots that i just did uh, i shot at iso 100 uh shutter speed is f8 okay and um it's at 250. same thing with the other shot what I did different here is to uh, have the bride just to place her left hand, put it, to put it right on her hip and to get a profile shot of her. So she's looking right to the side and it just changes, again, it changes the uh, image itself. So it goes from uh, just a straight out image to uh, a side profile shot and just shooting the same thing again in the next image. So uh, her hip is right, her uh, arm is right on her hip. It's a profile shot and I shot this one vertically. So moving on, I shot another wedding uh, here in New Rochelle, New York. Um, it was a very, very tight and close uh, uh, environment. A lot of times in the bridal suites or in the, the, the bride's homes, uh, everything is like really compact and close. There's a thousand people in the, in the uh, bridal suite, well, maybe eight or 10, depending on the bridal uh, party there. Um, but anyways, you know, sometimes you have to make something out of nothing in these cases. So I had her to go cl close to the window using the, uh, the backlight from the window itself. Um, I had her to stand in to open her uh, veil uh, so that it would expose like the, the details of the dress, uh, of the uh, veil itself, as well as capturing some of the details of her dress. If you look at the, uh, the buttons that go down the back of her dress, it just really captures that and it creates a really cool shot. And I also uh, angled the camera slightly to the uh, left just to kind of make it a little bit more dramatic. In our next shot, this is a shot that uh, picture that I took in the hotel suite with the bride in uh, Rockland County in New York State. Um, it had some beautiful light coming into the window itself so I wanted to cap you know, capitalize on that light coming in. Uh, it had beautiful curtains there so I wanted to grab the to frame the subject with the curtains there so I just had her to stand directly in front of the light source meaning in this case the uh, the sun itself. One thing that's really important is that you can utilize this stuff till the cows come home. You can use any flash or light source that you want to, but if you don't have good basic composition, it doesn't mean anything. So it's really important to compose the image first and then think about the light value and how you want to set things up. So as in previous um, uh, photographs that, that we've talked about, I took my flash. I use a Canon uh, 580EX. I took the flash, I, I tethered a uh, pocket wizard onto it, 
and placed it onto a, a light stand. I put it directly behind the subjects, both of them, and I stood at the distance and I wanted to make sure that I got the arch in the photograph as well as the bride and groom. So you don't really see their faces so much, you just see more of just this, this image. And uh, I think it's just really, really cool and creative. And everybody may not like this, but uh, in, in terms of what I like and what I see in my head and in my vision, uh, this, is what I, this is what I like. In this next shot, uh, we have some flowers here. And uh, they were sitting on the table and uh, I wanted to shoot it just a little bit differently. So I set my camera at, again at ISO 400, um, at about 60th of a second at uh, 4.5. And I used the uh, available light that was there. The DJ had set up these really nice lights around the room, this, this up lighting, and I wanted to include that into taking the photograph of the flower. I have a champagne flute. Same wedding, uh, same setup, everything. I just wanted, I don't want to just shoot a champagne flute, but I actually want to shoot this with some drama, with some color. So I used the, uh, the, the same DJ's lights and to put it strategically right behind the light. So what it does is to, uh, it, you have to be very careful with this. You don't want it to be to the left or to the right. You want to shoot it like directly in the middle. So again, that's where your composition comes into play. Hey guys, I'm Nick Carter, Nick Carter Photography. Thanks for checking out the video. I hope that you were able to learn something from this and to pick up some tips or some ideas to help you out uh, in your photographic uh, career. Thanks for stopping by and checking out learnmyshot.com.